Every single month this year, it is my goal to try something new and push myself out of my comfort zone. Episode 1, I tried climbing for the first time. Episode 2, I got a gym membership. And here, episode 3, we are going to an escape room. What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because this is Growth Zone episode 3. And today some friends and I, we are going to go to an escape room in Washington DC. This one's called Beat the Bomb. I'm pretty sure it's like brand new to DC. So we're excited to try this out. I have never done an escape room before. It's something that I've wanted to do. So excited, nervous. Hopefully we can all work together to escape the escape room. Otherwise that will be sort of sad. So let's go to DC, not on a work day, making this long trek. Starting off the day, we're at brunch, trying out Toastique for the first time. The food was so good and also so pretty. I would go back here, especially for the smoothies, 1010 10 smoothies. We get to the escape room. It's a pretty neat building. There's actually screens there. You can see the current teams participating in the rooms. And the final boss room is on display for everyone to see. So if you lose, you will get splattered with paint there. Even if you win the bomb, you can still be splattered with paint. That's the whole draw of this, right? So you get suited up in these suits head to toe and they are giving you the instructions. There's cameras in the room and our instructor guy said that there's AI. The AI will literally make it harder for you. It is watching you. In the rooms, they'll turn up the heat to try to make you too hot to continue. So then we're on our way and we're going to go through the four rooms. It's very hot. Oh, I would have worn more too. <laughs> so hot and sweetie. You <laughs> can't even see through there. Look at these lasers. I'm so glad I put on the workout pants.
So we beat the bomb. It was honestly a ton of fun. It wasn't really like an escape room escape room. I feel like you go through those four rooms and they're four like mini games. You try to complete as many levels in each room as possible because if you do well in the rooms, that basically gets you the time in the last room. That's where you get splattered with paint. So if you do poorly in all of the rooms, then you won't have any time in the final room in order to actually beat the bomb and win the escape room. So we ended up earning five minutes and five seconds in order to beat the end room, the end robot, which is amazing because after we finished, they said only 10% of teams do beat the bomb. So we're in one of the top 10%, which is so exciting. And then they were also telling us they're going to have like a pro league. So teams that beat the bomb, they would get invited back and then they can verse other pro teams that beat the bomb so honestly if that happens we want to do it so we can test our skills go against other really really good teams and because we beat the bomb we got this sticker it says beat the bomb this is cute and then we also got two pins so this one just says beat the bomb this one it says beat the bomb and this is the robot that we defeated at the end and these pins are nice. They're like really heavy, good material. So these are really cute to get for winning the escape room. And I think overall, we worked really, really well together. All of these mini games in each room, it's not like, okay, one person can do it for the entire team, but you really, really needed teamwork. You had to work together well. So it was a ton of fun. I think overall, definitely would recommend. You literally get shot with that paint and you like, it's some um, g-force there you fly a little bit backwards and i think it was a ton of fun i would definitely do it again and i would also want to sign up to do another kind of escape room like the more traditional okay find clues in the room try to escape the room or solve the mystery so i think our team has got to go do one of those since we're in the top 10 percent for beat the bomb honestly it feels like such an accomplishment so we gotta brag about it to everyone we know <laughs> i think beat the bomb was worth it 
I am glad we all pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone this month to try this kind of escape room. So yeah, that is the end of this video. If you have any other growth zone videos that you think I should do in the upcoming months, leave a comment down below. If you've tried to beat the bomb before in DC or other cities, also let us know. And yeah, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.